All right. Uh, hey, everybody. Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com. And I want to look at a few charts today. Uh, in my mind, these are the most relevant ones uh, for me to be looking at. And they uh, they relate to Bitcoin here. So, And I, I'll get into it in just a second. So uh, I want to talk about how these other stocks relate to Bitcoin. Uh, as you know, or as you should know, uh, this is under a lot of buying pressure. I don't think there's going to be much time at all before this continues its march up to uh, 100,000. Uh, it's, it's kind of a good, healthy thing that it's resting here right around 90. But if you remember how long it rested at 80, that was a real hoot. It was like it just like blasted through there like one of Musk's uh, rocket ships and it just continued to go. So this thing's kind of on a tear here, but that's really not what I want to talk about here. I just want to point out this, that today's uh, today's advance just wasn't that much. You can see on the upper left part of the screen up up in this area here, you'll see that it moved up less than a percent today. Right now it's up uh, three quarters of a percent. Okay, so that's Bitcoin. Awesome to be invested in Bitcoin. I got a bunch of it. I always wish I had more, but I'm happy that I got what I got, okay? So this is the point though. So this is up three quarters of a percent. Now, if you are, let me get rid of this stupid thing. Um, <clears throat> Okay, sorry about that. So anyway, um, if you're trading Bitcoin or you'd like to trade Bitcoin, but you don't have uh, a, a crypto account, that's fine. You can do it another way. In fact, I would say it's a better way. Remember, Bitcoin went up less than 1%. Today, MicroStrategy went up almost 13%. So this tends to trade, well, it obviously doesn't trade on par with Bitcoin. Uh, it's it's more leveraged. And, and that's really the key point here. I'm not going to go into detail on this because my buddy Scott McGregor at Crypto Market Mentor knows a hell of a lot more about this stuff than I do. I'm just trying to hang on. But the idea is Michael Saylor just continues to buy more Bitcoin by issuing convertible bonds on MicroStrategy. So when he issues convertible bonds, he gets the dough. And that dough goes into Bitcoin. And the more Bitcoin he buys, as long as the price keeps going up, the more micro strategy goes up. It's kind of an elegant deal here. And you can say, and, and a lot of people have, um, that, oh, well, Bitcoin's, a, it's a Ponzi scheme. It's this, it's that. All you rubes uh, think that you're going to make a lot of money. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. And I hear that as I'm looking at the chart here in January of 2023 at 15 bucks. And now it's at 384. So I'm waiting for somebody to tell me when I'm going to stop making money. Uh, on Bitcoin and Bitcoin trades. Um, that's the difference between knowledge and wisdom. Uh, these guys can know a lot of stuff. Maybe they've got degrees all over their walls. Great, good for you. I got more than you do, only mine's on a thermometer. Um, but that's wisdom, or excuse me, that's intelligence. But as far as wisdom, you got to just take things as they come. Um, and if there's a money-making opportunity, and there is, then I'm going to take it. But wait, there's more. So we've got, again, Bitcoin uh, running up three quarters of a percent today. In the same time frame, MicroStrategy is up 13%. Now I'm going to take you to one more chart, to another chart that gets even better, but not yet. I want to show you this. A few days ago, I was talking to my members about this thing. It's, uh, it's, I just call it a fish hook. It's a Bollinger Band hook. And this is how it works. When a stock is really, really screaming, uh, really running high to where the Bollinger Bands themselves are really expanding, you can see how when the stock really picks up, runs away from uh, the 20 day, in this case, the 20 day moving average, then because Bollinger Bands are two standard deviations above and below the 20 day moving average, then as this starts to ramp, these bands have to continue to go away from the 20 day moving average. So you get this big fan, this big, big, looks like a, like a big, like a tuba, 
uh, big megaphone, whatever you want to call it. But then at some point, the trend will pause a bit, and that's when you'll get a little hook on the opposite side. The price goes up, and then at some point it comes down a little bit, and then this hook forms. So some have interpreted that as saying that, as indicating that it's an end to the trend. But that's really not the case. It actually typically just reflects a pause in the trend. When you see this little hook, then the takeaway is, okay, well, it's probably going to rest for at least a couple of days. Who knows? Maybe it's going to reverse and go to zero. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just using this little tiny technical indicator, this little hook, to gauge when a strongly running stock has taken a breather. But then this is where it gets good. Here, the stock took a breather for three days. Right here, last Wednesday, last Thursday, and last Friday, traded in a fairly, uh, a fairly tight range. Right here. And now we've got this fish hook completing its course. Now, as this starts to run again, you're going to see this Bollinger Band, the lower one, start to run down again. And we'll continue to get this, I, I just call it the, the, the business end of a tuba, where this is just ru really, really running. So the point is, if I had to choose, and happily I don't, I can take both. If I had to choose between Bitcoin and um, owning MicroStrategy, well, today, I would take MicroStrategy because it's up 13%, again, versus Bitcoin's uh, 0.75 of 1%. So, and they do trade, I'll bring you back to here on the daily chart. They do trade pretty similarly, but this is how I trade it. I trade it with Mystics. This is a double micro strategy. So let me get this straight. We've got Bitcoin, which is working really well. And then we have uh, micro strategy, which is a leveraged Bitcoin play. They continue to accumulate Bitcoin. So their value continues to increase beyond what the price of Bitcoin is increasing because they're actually buying more and more of it. Uh, you could say a dollar, if a dollar winds up being valued at a dollar five, then great, uh, you made a penny. But if you've got a whole boatload of dollars, or excuse me, you made a nickel, but then if you've got a whole boatload of dollars and that dollar goes up from a dollar to a dollar five, you've made more than just a nickel. And so that's what's happening here with MicroStrategy. As Bitcoin goes up a little, MicroStrategy goes up a lot. And as MicroStrategy goes up a lot, MSTX goes up a hell of a lot. It's up 25.6% right now. And even... Uh, even in the after hours, let's see what it's doing here. It's just trading sideways. So it's holding all of these gains that it made during the day. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this would be my suggestion. If you're going to be trading Bitcoin, if you want to own Bitcoin, that's great. Get on Coinbase or some crypto account. But if you don't have that, don't just be sitting here like a mope talking about how Bitcoin is a, is a, you know, it's a fraud and this and that. I don't really care. I just look at charts. And when I see a chart of Bitcoin and then I see a chart of uh, MicroStrategy and then I see a chart of Mystics here, this I get. This I understand. And so my suggestion would be don't sit around and look at these prior prices and say, wow, I think this has gone up too much. It hasn't. You, you just look at the price. Just look at what's happening here. If you look at the hourly chart, you can see a uh, nice move today, this last week. And then now it's just kind of drifting around sideways. Uh, same thing on the 30 minute chart. So this is a pattern that we've got in if it's me, well, I really can't buy anymore unless I go on margin. Maybe I will. Uh, if it's me, I'm buying more when it crosses right up there. So that's it. And uh, by the way, if you have not checked out Crypto Market Mentor, again, my buddy Scott McGregor is an assassin on this stuff. He's been making people a whole boatload of money. 
myself included. So you can check that out. And it's going to cost you a whopping $7, which is probably what the cost of a large latte or something that you get when you buy that cheap ass coffee at, uh, at Starbucks. So seven bucks, you can get crypto market mentor for two weeks. And uh, here's my bet. At the end of two weeks, you <laughs> You're going to say, well, I can't believe I got this for $7. I think I'm going to stick around. All right, that's all I got for you. I'll see you later.